Miami Peel and the Miami Peel S30, which are part of the Quintessence Skin Science line, are two treatment modalities that I have had tremendous success with in my private practice. These two peels are both extremely effective and very well tolerated light to medium depth peels. They can be used on all skin types within the Fitzpatrick skin type scale. It is not necessary to peel an entire area. Depending on your goal, spot treatments are also an option. Typically, skin types 4, 5, and 6 are difficult to peel and often display hypo or hyperpigmentation or other post-peel skin related problems. With these two peels, we have not seen these complications and our patients have been extremely satisfied with their results. These two peels are lipophilic, have antioxidant benefits, they are comedolytic, anti-inflammatory, and possess a skin lightening effect. They aid in the effects of photoaging by improving fine lines and wrinkles while also being very effective addition to the therapeutic arsenal for treatment of melasma and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, secondary to acne and other skin conditions. The Miami peel is a layered peel and is left on the skin in order to potentiate its lightening effects. Let me introduce you to our medical esthetician, Beth Miller, who will guide you through these steps of these two peels. Hello, my name is Beth Miller, and I'm a medical assistant and licensed medical esthetician. I'll be guiding you through the Quintessence Skin Science Miami Peel. The Miami Peel is a layered peel that's used for its lightening, balancing, and toning effects on the skin, and is a very effective anti-aging wrinkle reduction treatment. The bleaching agents together will reduce the appearance of melasma, hyperpigmentation, and photoaging. Up to five coats of the Miami peel may be placed onto the skin with a waiting time of approximately three minutes between each layer. The Miami peel is also beneficial for those who suffer from acne and have oil dry skin created by overwashing and overstripping the stratum corneum with excessive facial drying agents. Now, let's begin the Miami peel. To begin the Miami Peel treatment protocol, double cleanse the face thoroughly with our Quintessence Skin Science Purifying Cleanser. A second cleansing may be done with a small circular facial brush in order to further exfoliate the stratum corneum. After the face is properly cleansed, degrease the skin with either toner or acetone depending on the sensitivity level of the patient. At this point, you must allow the skin to completely dry before beginning step three. The Miami peel may be placed into a small glass dish and the cap replaced on the bottle. Make sure you're wearing latex-free gloves before you begin and fold a 4x4 gauze pad over twice and dip it directly into the dish and cover with the solution. Gently squeeze the gauze to remove any excess liquid. Sweep the pad across the chin, jawline, cheeks, nose, forehead, and then the neck. Be cautious with the nasal labial fold as this area may be sensitive. Firmly press, but not roughly, the gauze over the entire face and neck area. Since this is a layered peel, be sure to replace the cap between layerings as the peel may evaporate. A facial fan may be used for patient comfort level. The depth of the peel is determined by how many coats are applied. We suggest one coat for the first treatment in individuals with sensitive skin and two coats for the initial treatment for all other patients. Each visit, the number of coats applied may slowly be increased for up to a maximum of five coats. A waiting time of approximately three minutes is necessary between coats. After the desired number of coats have been applied and are dry, apply the Quintessence Q Sunshade Sunscreen. The Miami peel is not removed. The patient leaves the peel on if possible until it's washed off the next morning with the Quintessence Skin Science Purifying Cleanser. The patient may feel a mild flaking on day three or four after the peel. However, many patients experience minimal to no peeling at all.
begin a gentle five minute facial massage using approximately five to seven pumps of Quintessence Serum C formula. This will slough off any remaining residue from the peel and also embed the Serum C deeply into the epidermal layers. Do not skip this step. As an option, you may follow with three minutes of high frequency over gauze. High frequency kills any remaining bacteria and helps close any opened areas, tonifies the pores, embeds the Serum C deeply into the epidermis, tightens the skin, and gives it a radiant glow. Follow the massage with the application of Quintessence Q Sunshade Sunscreen. A small amount of the sunscreen may be placed onto the lower lids as well for further sun protection. This is the completed protocol for medical estheticians and nurses. Physicians will typically only follow this protocol up to and including step six, adding the sunscreen as a finishing for further protection after the peel. Hi, how you doing? Now you've had your peel. Your skin's a little bit rosy. It's gonna feel a little bit tight, but that's normal. That's what we want. We're gonna give you some instructions that we want you to follow at home. Avoid the sun, apply the creams, and you should have a great result, okay? We'll see you back in two to three weeks, and we'll go ahead and do this again. All right.